Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I want to walk you through the Microsoft Enterprise Skills Initiative portal. Here we are on the Microsoft Enterprise Skills Initiative or ESI the welcome page. So if you scroll down to sign in now. And on this page, you are required to use your work email address to sign in. This is what you will get after you sign to the Microsoft ESI portal. On top, you have My Registrations, your Settings, the Help menu, and the Search bar. As you scroll down, based on your profile, you will see the different options available. Link to learn on your own, Microsoft Virtual Training Days, Microsoft Delivered Courses, Learning Partner Training, and Microsoft Certifications. Let's explore each of these tiles one by one. Under Microsoft Learn, you will find all the online learning paths that combine short step-by-step -step tutorials, browser-based interactive coding and scripting environments, and task build achievements. Click here to explore. This is where you can find all the learning paths and modules. And on the left, you can have the filter for you to find your desired learning path based on your requirements, such as the products you want to specialize in, your role, your levels, subjects. So if I want to do a filter search and say based on my role as a data engineer, these are the different learning paths available based on my chosen role. And if I want to narrow my search, I will pick one of the levels. So I want to choose the intermediate level. So I will click on intermediate to narrow down to these learning paths. If I want to do a learning path, for example, data engineering with Azure Data Bricks, I will click on add as favorites, or it could be under a new collection, let's say data bricks. I'll click submit. The next time I will know where to find my learning paths. So I go to a learning path, choose data engineering with Azure data bricks. Four hour and 46 minutes. And there are five modules to be completed. And it's apply as an intermediate level for data engineer roles, the roadmap for you to develop your skills to start my learning path and start my first module, I'll click start. And this will take me to the very first little chapter. So in this case, I'll do introduction. If over the top right hand corner, there will be uh, experience points accumulated for each completion of your modules. So I click continue, I'll go to the next page. And there is also additional extra points for doing so to go through the material. Go to Microsoft Virtual Training Days. Now, these are one-day digital events with a live chat moderators that cover fundamentals and advanced topics for Azure, Dynamics 365, security, and more. So I'll click here to explore. For this uh, page, you will see there are quite a few sessions that are being uh, scheduled. So to help you narrow your search, you can use filter to find uh, desired sessions based on your chosen requirements in terms of the roles, time zone, languages, learning experience. Let's say I want to do uh, Say DevOps engineer, for instance. Under DevOps engineer, there are quite a few sessions and at various time zones. So if I were to pick on a, a time zone, let's, let's say in, uh, in Mumbai, quite a few sessions. I want to choose this uh, Microsoft Azure Virtual Training Days on Azure Fundamentals AZ900. I will go to expand just to find out a bit more and after which I will go and click register. So it will take me to a separate page. So in this case, the session I've chosen is full. I will not able to register. I will just go back to the other session to see if I could uh, sign up. If I have a, a session called Data Fundamentals, DP900. If I want to register, I'll click here and it will take me to another page. Seems to me there'll be available sessions for me to sign up. So just to check that you know the dates and the times and the time zones on the right hand side, you can see the register form for us to sign up for the virtual training day. And just to scroll down, just to double check that the the webinar session uh, objectives are very much uh, uh, the ones that I'm going for. Just double check, and then I register. Microsoft uh, delivered courses. Now these are uh, live hands-on instructor lab training on consecutive days or in a blended experience across multiple weeks. Microsoft Deliver Courses, there's only one available session called Designing and Implementing Microsoft DevOps Solution. We also notice there's a join with list. It suggests that this session has been uh, oversubscribed. So if I want to be considered, uh, assuming that somebody else were to withdraw their enrollment, I will click here to join the wait list. This is a panel, you can see there are, there are five different you know, options 
which is very similar to the five options you see in the front page where we assign in the Microsoft ESI portal. We go to the Microsoft certifications. As a matter of fact, all the exam papers that ends with 900 are referring to very fundamental ASIO exams recommended for new ASIO users or practitioners to sign up. How do I schedule an exam? Say I want to schedule an exam called ASIO Data Fundamentals, DP900. These are prerequisites for the exams. I will schedule the exam here. So this is the page where you can find more information on this ASIO Data Fundamentals. For you to go through the, the certification details, if you scroll down, it has also have the learning paths for you to prepare for these exams. If you choose self-paced, these are the learning paths to learn, schedule your exam with person view. There's also a free practice assessment. If you click here, it will take you to the free practice assessment. So how to use the search engine? So let's say I want to do an exam uh, called uh, DP203. So I EDP203, enter. And it will show me the, all the results of all the courses offerings that's related to DP203. To narrow my search APAC time, languages, I choose uh, English or Chinese Simplified. I have a virtual classroom sessions which I can register. These are the exams I will sign up for under a data engineer. I will sign up for the session virtual classroom and exam Azure Data Engine Associate. I hope you enjoyed this video to help you better understand how to orient yourself in the Microsoft ESI portal. All the best with your exams. Thanks for watching.